Seal or no seal, what are seals? As there still seems to be many questions on this I will explain a bit more about what seals are and where they can exist. You all know about the seven seals in the Bible, they are not the seven Jehovian seals within the physical body. The seven seals and you can read the passages that are described within the Bible are metaphors for what these seals represent. The first six seals have been opened and the seventh seal is about to open. A small group has worked on clearing the energies within and around the first six seals and the effect they had upon earth. They have worked on opening the seventh seal as to bring it into the awareness and consciousness of the earth and bring in the energies that allow for the opening of this seal as it will affect everyone on earth. These are the seven seals, but there are more seals that are within you, around you and within many different dimensions. Many seals are used to block something of, to not release something or to release something at a specific point in time. The Jehovian seals only come into action when the human starts to integrate higher frequencies within the physical body. They are not doorways or portals. Many use the phrase seal when new doorways are opening up within the dimensions. These doorways were not sealed, you just could not reach them as you did not have the correct frequency to reach them or see them. There are however portals and gateways that are sealed off at this time and there are small groups working on clearing them and bringing them back to their original state. There are seals within you that are closing off portals or gateways to other dimensional parts of you. Some have suggested that the J seals will disappear as they move into the higher frequencies. This would be possible if the J seals would move with you into those frequencies. The J seals were placed within the physical frequency, and they were programmed to stay within that frequency. They will not disappear simply by moving into higher frequencies. Some implants and other seals will disappear, others will not. Many were placed between the third and fifth dimensional level as this is where they can be of great use in preventing you from in fact raising the frequency of the physical body. As many are more focused on reaching those higher frequencies than actually integrating those frequencies. You need to be able to move between all frequencies and integrate all frequencies within the physical body. Many are ascending upwards within their being, forgetting that as above so below you also have to ascend these parts down into the physical body. Can you remove these seals yourself? Yes everyone has the ability, as long as they can see them clearly and are able to see the connections that run through the many different energy bodies. Removal of these connections is needed as any lingering energy connection is still interference within the energy bodies. This can be done by higher parts of your being, if you are connected to those higher parts and those parts are able to come down into the lower frequencies to remove these seals. Many have connected with higher parts, but forgot to bring them down. At this point in time it is very important to integrate the spiritual world in the physical although many would rather just give up, or forget the spiritual world. But the spiritual world is a part of the reality within the physical world. It was chosen by your being to experience, to learn and to create in. So yes the physical world is not perfect, who says the spiritual world is perfect at all times. I can see in many places and can see that within other universes right now a war is happening. The whole cosmos is a place of learning and experiencing, creation and expansion. You have a choice to play within that world or not. At this time you have chosen to play within the reality of your universe, more specifically to play within the reality of Earth. Creation is what is to be learned within this world, but create without attachment. Something that many cannot at this time as they are attached to many of the possible future outcomes, but also attached to what happened in the past. Let's just say that if you would be completely within the spiritual world and not incarnated on the earth, you would have a lot less to deal with as far as implants, seals and so forth. But you are here and it is time to deal with everything. As this is what it means to be within the play of the physical world, your choice to come here. Now you can ignore this and say, I will deal with it in the spiritual alone. 
Yes parts of it can be done within the spiritual world, but there are still the limitations of you not seeing everything as spiritual. Granted there are many who don't have to think about this at all as they live within another part of the world where the living circumstances are totally different. No one really talks about that as they live their life here within the Western reality. Many believe that the monetary system is going to crash and they will all get a check in the mail, or gold or any other form of money. They will share this with others to set up a new system. Others believe that you should share and just send healing instead of using the exchange of money. I think of all those children that are at this moment going without breakfast, lunch and dinner, and yes many of them in the western world as well, they will be really happy with you sending them your love. The reality within the physical world cannot be ignored as the physical world has to become one with the spiritual world. If you can do this, then you can create a new reality. One that is of divine perfection, one that is of divine perfection for every being on earth. This is why you are here and why you have incarnated many times upon earth. The creation process of creating a world that is within the divine flow of source. Many times you have been here and have seen the spiritual world, brought parts of them down. There have also been many times where the spiritual world brought destruction as the spiritual powers were misused. These destructions have caused splits within the timelines and certain parts of that spiritual world disappeared and you had to start all over again. Yes you might have some apprehension related to the past as far as bringing the spiritual into the physical again. Many do not like the physical and the limitations it brings them. They see the physical as a non-reality, something that was created, and something like a dream and one day you will wake up out of this dream. There is anger towards the ones that misuse the spiritual world and are still misusing the spiritual world for the control upon the earth and the control they have to go through. This is your time to bring in the change, this is your time to create and yes this is your time to bring in the spiritual world into the physical world once and for all. The focus on the spiritual world has to be brought into the physical world. Future predictions as some are making, are just what they are predictions, the new reality is being created within the now moment. Not in the past, not in the future, but in the present moment. So release all attachments to the past, release all attachment to the future and align yourself within the now moment to be part of creating the new reality as it is being created in every moment. Be open to every possibility that presents itself to you and know that when something is trying to get your attention, pay attention. To be within the divine flow, you have to accept the divine flow as it presents itself to you in many ways.